When was your first race or visit to the racetrack? Uh, 1972. Uh, my dad was racing the late model, number 3557 Chevrolet. That was my very first memory of being here. Can you describe a little bit about what the track meant to the community? Uh, it was a gathering place on Saturday nights um, for, for people all over the, the Tri-County area that were race fans. Um, it was a place to be. Um, that's where uh, that's where uh, people met their wives. That's where people uh, became best friends. That's where you would sit in the parking lot and tailgate before that was a thing. Uh, you'd sit in the stands by someone, and you'd be pulling for another driver, and uh, all kind of stuff would go down in there. I mean, there's uh, th this place was uh, uh, gone too soon. It, uh, it, was, uh, it was a wonderful place to go on a Saturday night for uh, good entertainment. Is there, is there a memory or two that you look at as your favorite memories um, while the racetrack was here? I got several, but the, I guess the biggest memory that I have was uh, the very, uh, the night I won the 2004 ch uh, championship was, was paramount to all. Um, it was a great memory, but the last time that we were here, the last race that we raced in, I never will forget that. I, I remember the whole day. Um, uh, back in 1999, another memory is a friend of mine. I, I had not been racing for a while, and I helped him, and he won the big July 4th race. Charlie Powell put on the best fireworks ever. So whatever you were doing, uh, was always a big crowd, and uh, it, I was on the back straightaway in the little street stock division, or whatever they called it, he won the race and I couldn't have been prouder and that was one of the another one of my favorite memories. And then we won me and Robert Powell and, and our group won a won ten thousand dollars here one night. Um, that was I was uh, spotting for and that was that was a pretty pretty fair memory and uh, the night my dad won his first race. Um, I kinda remember that like it was yesterday, you know. Uh, so there's there's so many that are tied for first it's hard to, to pick just one. What were your thoughts when the track closed? Uh, I was, um, I felt like I had lost a, a family friend. I uh, felt like I had lost a family member. Um, I was very bitter, very sour, very depressed. It was very depressing um, for something to be such a huge part of your life for so many years. And then uh, you wake up one morning and it's, it's no longer. That was uh, very bitter. Um, and then finally, um, this section is just kind of like, if there's something we didn't cover there, or if it's just something random, if you have a story or something you want to say about, you know, being here or whatever, we'll just turn the camera on and you can say whatever okay. you want. Um, when you when you speak the word Somerville Speedway, uh, you got you have to Charlie Powell, synonymous with Somerville Speedway, the announcer, track announcer Dan Moon. That was Somerville Speedway. Dan's voice coming over that every Saturday night for, for so many years. Uh, those things that are, are will be embedded in everybody that would come here on Saturday nights. So Charlie Powell's tireless effort to make this one of the premier short tracks, uh, too, is something that, that I think gets overlooked a lot. He was promoted a year several times. He was the guy, the go-to guy uh, for tr short tracks all over the country uh, that were NASCAR sanctioned. Uh, I met my wife here, my mother-in-law raced, my daddy raced, I raced, my father-in-law raced, uh, some of the best friends I had ever made. And, and, and number one to all that is, is uh, my dad, his, still his best friend today, you know, 50 years later, uh, we all met and, and I have a whole family that, that we, we're at Christmas together, all because of this racetrack, all because of of, of the common ground that, that, that we so loved short track racing here in the low country and uh, you know Charlie Powell allowed that to happen uh, love or hate uh, the things that went on through the years it was it was a gathering place I can't state that enough uh, for everybody who loved racing and some of the best racing some of the best shows uh, that you would ever see uh, all through this country were right here in this little 35 acre lot that we're standing in the middle of that's now a neighborhood.